Hello, hello, hello. So I want to tell you the most important thing that you can do for your life. Imagine there are two pools. One pool, you go into that pool, there's acid. Your skin starts to peel. It will hurt you. There's another pool. It's warm. It's salt water. It heals you. It's got minerals in it. That is exactly the two pools that exist today. The bad pool is the media. It's acid. It's going to tell you everything that's wrong, every reason to be afraid, pornography. It makes you into a sick, disgusting, evil person. The hate that's going on in the media, all these things make you hateful. Anything that you take into your soul becomes part of you. You can't look at something and not be affected. You can't hear something and not be affected. So, would you like to be in a pool where your skin dissolves, where you're going to feel fear and pain? Because if you continue watching the media, you know, two weeks before the 2016 election, I got so sick and tired of the media circus, Trump, Clinton, Trump, it's the same thing. They just repeat the same thing. Whatever they can do to uh, make a story, especially a bad story, they're going to say it. So I shut off the media and basically I haven't gone back since. Within two weeks, my entire mood changed. I'm basically a happy person. Why? Because I don't listen to the media. You want to be happy? Get out of that pool. How are you going to be happy if you're swimming in acid? And then there's a second pool. And this is the pool of God, of the Torah. If you study the Torah, God's wisdom, you can go to Chabad.org, you can go to my website, Kabbalah Wisdom. Dot org. There's infinite amounts to study. Infinite. If you study God's words, you will be happy. You're going to be in a pool which is nourishing. It's going to nourish your soul. You're going to feel good. It's a great gift to have time. Most of human history, people did not have any time. You had to go to the river just to get water. The amount of work it took just to make bread. All these things were very difficult. We have the gift of time. Use it wisely.